everyone. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Max. God, it has contact. been a while but as I promised in my last Cold Waters last video, memory. today yep. we are beginning a new campaign Die -die. using Dot Mod. So, Dot Mod is a mega mod that is designed to improve the Cold Waters vanilla experience in pretty much Come all left, areas. Two, two, more realistic zero, sensors, one, better AI, AI, improved and more useful UI design, whole new gameplay elements such as surface to air missiles and so on. As with most mega mods, it also adds more submarines and surface ships, but also to add a sense of progression, light RPG elements similar to some of those seen in games like U-Boat and the older Silent Hunter series. For this run we're doing the 1985 North Atlantic campaign as the US. This time however we're taking out the USS Grayling, a Sturgeon class nuclear attack submarine commissioned in 1969. I picked the Sturgeon class as I'm hoping the mod's improvements coupled with the older boat will give me a little bit more of a challenge and make this a bit more interesting for everybody watching. So, it's the 6th of January 1985, the Soviets have invaded West Germany and their submarine fleets have saturated the North Atlantic. We've been ordered to the Denmark Strait, any red submarines crossing the Con, gap are no. to be sunk, no exceptions. Con, I hope you enjoy. Six, so we have a Sierra 2 further to the north, alright we do not have an ID on that one, we do have a signal. I think this isn't a submarine. I think, I think, I think, not a hundred percent, but yeah, I think that's a trawler. that one. Con Sonar, Sierra okay. 2 is classified as Sierra urgent. 2 is just a trawler. The microphone's actually in the way of me being able to see the screen at the moment. Alright, so yeah, I reckon Sierra 1 is still probably our target. So we're sitting just below the thermal layer at the moment. What was the range? Range has us at 6.8 kilometers. It's the interesting part with, um, and I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I like this either. The uh, the entirety of dot mod is done in kilometers, which is odd because at least it would be nice if it changed between vessels, because U.S. vessels most certainly use nautical miles, feet, and knots. At the moment, the only thing that remains the same is knots is still the measurement for speed. Uh, meters is used for depth, and kilometers is used for range. So this isn't. This is what you would see a Soviet boat using. Um, potentially what the British would use. Not 100% on that, I'm not entirely sure about their measurements. But not what you would see on a US submarine. I do like the range rings though. That is nice. And how they do scale depending on how far out you are. That's, that's... Everything else about this mod I like. I like the aesthetics. The changeover to actually make the panels metal. This is great. So what we can do now is sit here and be very, very, very quiet and see whether or not we can get another pickup on Sierra 1. If we don't get something soon though... If we don't get something soon I might have to put a torpedo out. Actually that's another thing I do like. This little DB measurement here showing exactly how much noise we're making. So the sturgeon, dead silent and cold, as quiet as you can get, does about 115. So we're making 128 decibel at the moment at our current speed. Con setting. sonar regained contact on Sierra 1, go. bearing 2, 6, 8. So it's a good way to monitor exactly how much uh, ruckus you're uh, generating. Con sonar lost contact. And Sierra lost 1. It. Last bearing, two, six, eight, Kilo contact faded. as close faded. as I got it down to, and I don't think we had lines here. So I'm going to put a marker on that one. Oh, one. So we got a 
marker on Sierra 1. I don't, that won't be an accurate location. I just want to try and get an idea for what direction it's moving in. I should have marked the previous contact, to be honest. Now that did have us 8.1 kilometers. This might actually be worth it. We're going to launch a torpedo. Shoot two one, aye sir. So this range, we are definitely outside of uh, being to having the the launch transients detected. So I'm just going to sit here in the sturgeon, and I'm just going to keep trolling as I am. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this torpedo, flick back over here, uh, hook this torpedo down and around and get it to actually stir up the submarine. If we're lucky, we're going to have enough here, uh, it'll have enough juice in it to be able to make the kill. If not, it's going to make enough noise to suddenly make our target very obvious so we can work out our next moves. Just going to get it down here. Progress down about two kilometers and then we'll cut directly across the south and come back up. Alright, torpedo's been in the water for eight minutes. We are not getting any kind of reaction at all from the area around where we detected Sierra 1. The trawler up here is confirmed. Doing 12 knots. 22 minutes left in the life of the torpedo if we leave it unactivated. I think we're going to have to activate it and go active on the sonar. Just to rattle the ocean a little bit. Alright, so we're pinging now. There's no way known this thing won't be able to hear us. There we go, we've got a counter launch. Con sonar, new contact Two. bearing. Three, and we have zero, Sierra six, three. designated Sierra 3. Sierra 3 is not what we were looking for. Well, it potentially is what we're looking for, but it's not one that we had detected yet at this time. It is looking like a Victor 3. Yeah, Con designating sonar, Victor Sierra 3. 3 is classified as submerged submarine. And we are only getting active pings on it. We've got nothing on Sierra 1 at this time. Counterfire will be down this way. Torpedoes from the Victor 3 are we only detected the launch transients, nothing else as yet. And we don't have a full solution on it. At the moment we've only got 41%. Torpedo has not detected the target. What is our estimated depth? That's why. Submarine's too deep. Changing the depth. Aligning the torpedo with the target. Ten minutes twenty seven seconds remaining on torpedo. Still no contact with the submarine. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is cavitating. Con sonar, new contact bearing 2, 8, 3, designated Sierra 4. So we have a Sierra 4 that we now need to track. We have nothing on Sierra 3. What have we got for Sierra 4? Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Weapon's finally acquired. We've got the Victor 3. Nice. We've got very Con little sonar, in regards to... Noise maker to... bearing. 3, 1, okay, 0. Measures are being deployed. We'll have to get onto this. That is potentially a sneaky Con Oscar. Sonar, Sierra four is oh, we've hit a jackpot here. Submerged submarine. We have potentially hit a jackpot here. 
Recon sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, one, right, two. control. Con sonar, lost contact, right. Sierra, three, Impact last bearing, three, three, one, three, contact breaking up. That was a good countermeasure at the end, but I can't let you slip. Now, interesting. There are live torpedoes in the water, and we have an Oscar over here. Now, will their torpedoes track this Oscar? Let's see. Um, no real depth estimate on the torpedoes, but they seem shallow. The Oscar is deep. The Oscar is real deep. Con, fire control, unable to fire. Uh, know what I'm after. Range. Range is 10 kilometers. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1. Last bearing 2. Clearing, nine, putting a new marker two, down. Contact four. faded. And. Shoot tube 2. Aye, sir. Torpedo is away. An 80% solution on the Oscar at this time. We also have a Sierra 5. Which I have a sneaking suspicion is going to be another. Con sonar here. regained contact on Sierra One bearing two nine three. Yeah, Con I think that's sonar going to be a lost transport. contact. Sierra One last bearing two nine had three. Sierra One contact we lost faded. It again. Got a new marking. And torpedo here is heading straight for the Oscar, but the depth difference. Yeah, it's going to make all the difference. How far is she down? About 400 meters, roughly. Hang on. Torpedo has acquired something. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 5. Last bearing 2. 7. Oh, 7. Contact no. breaking up. There was a ship on the surface. You see the flag? Polish. Polish vessel, vessel on the surface. It was a Polish ship, and it just ate the torpedo launched by the Victor 3. So we've got civilian casualties. Alright, the Oscar is confirmed. We got a big boy. I was not expecting to find one of these. This is a nice catch. All right, cut the torpedo across. It's Con take sonar a little bit lost of time. contact. Sierra I four. Last bearing two this. six nine. Contact faded. I know where she is, or where she was, roughly. All right, so now it's just a matter of time. All right, so we just had a counterfire. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two sense. Torpedoes six, just been detected, six. so we're going to set the torpedo live, and we're going to dive Con, it down to that control, depth. Weapon acquired. Oh, never mind, it's already acquired. Now one torpedo is likely not going to be enough to take out this thing. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, six, six. But the primary goal here, we should probably get the second torpedo underway. We're going to watch our torpedo counts. The Sturgeon only has two, two, two wires. One. Aye, sir. Which is less than what you're used to if you're playing vanilla. I think, I think it actually has four in vanilla, the same as the Los Angeles class. Although it has been a while since I've piloted the, uh, or Captain the Sturgeon. Alright. Torpedo seems to be tracking true. Going active on sonar, see whether or not we can actually pop the Oscar up, because we've lost it. There she is. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, six, five. Torpedo is heading for the noisemaker. 
Adjusting torpedo to target. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Reacquired Oscar. Oscar is at 95. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, six, no visual four. Rendering. That's fine. And we lost our torpedo. Impact. Yep, Oscar has been hit. Oscar has been hit. And that was an emergency blow. And she is surfacing. She is surfacing, so the emergency blow successful. We didn't flutter enough to put her down. Counterfire is still going well out of our area. Clear markers. Let's pop a new updated marker on our location just in case we lose her, although I do not Con think we sonar will now. lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, three. Zero. Seven. Contact faded. Yeah, she is going to go straight for the surface. So we need to hook this shot around enough that if she fires again while she's on the surface back of the torpedo, we don't attract any attention, and the second one should be enough to finish this Con off. sonar, Sierra 1 is cavitating. Wow. So Sierra 1, which we will mark up here at the moment, is one that we definitely have to have a look at now. Except we can't, we can't, we have no... Nope, we do not have a connection to Sierra 1. So we know it's cavitating, we just don't know what it is. I would say that's a pretty, pretty... Pretty clear indication that that's going to be another submarine. So we've got one more to track down yet. 22,500 tons. Surprisingly quiet too, 125 decibel. She's only 10 decibel louder than my Sturgeon is. 610 meters maximum dive. She could hide down deeper than we can actually go to chase her. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, four, two. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Torpedo is still tracking true, it's ignoring countermeasures. There it is, just emerging through the Merc. Dot mod, of course, comes with low visibility, which is Con nice. Sonar. Noise maker bearing two, three, eight. And it ate the countermeasure, so manually reacquiring. Con sonar lost Impact. contact. Sierra four. Last bearing two, three, seven. Contact breaking up. Turn directly north. Come right to zero, zero, zero. We know Call Sierra I. One's here, and it's heading in this direction, the opposite direction to everything else. I'm actually going to go to periscope depth quickly. Make depth one four. I just want to confirm we haven't actually picked up a trawler or something else that's making its way across the surface. It's possible that we have. I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. Best way to do that is to just pop up and quickly clear it on radar. We are actually still in NATO controlled waters at the moment, so we're safe enough to do this. It's heading up to 14 meters. We'll just quickly pop the radar mast, have a look around. If there's nothing on the surface, we are going to have a check and see exactly what Sierra 1 is.
Raise the radar mast. Radar up. And zero contacts dive on surface. We don't need to protect by. Sierra 2 at this time. Lower the okay, radar fair mast. Enough. All right, set depth to 76. Make depth 76, dive by. Dive down deep enough to actually get some speed on and start running north at about 15 knots. For ultra quiet. Going back to ultra quiet and dropping out the toad array. Let's see whether or not we can find our wayward Sierra 1, who's so far proving to be the sneakiest of all of our potential targets. Absolutely nothing so far. I don't particularly like the idea, but we really need to find out what this submarine is. Our orders specifically not to let anything through this gap. Now we've gotten two, I only think there's potentially one more. We don't have it, so I'm going to go active. Con sonar, switching to active search. I'm not getting any returns at all. Nothing. Con sonar, switching the passive search. We have no returns on this submarine in the slightest. Alright, so retracting array, and we're going to do another sprint forward and see whether or not we can stir anything up. Alright, so we've uh, come all the way from the south, turned all the way through to head up north of our last contact on Sierra 1. At this point we're at 198 metres at 5 knots. We have the total ray deployed heading east-west and we have no contacts. So the last thing we can do here sonar. Switching to active is search. go active and see if we can get a return. We got a return. Alright, that's something. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 1, bearing 2, 2, 9. Alright, we have a Sierra 1. Let's scan it while we've got the chance. It's another Con Victor 3. Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Alright, we have another Victor 3. Estimate range is at 8.4 kilometers. We are lucky we caught that. I was starting to think Sierra 1 was going to be a giveaway. Did we get a depth? Signature conditions. No depth at this time. Right, we're possibly going to get counter shot here because we have sort of announced our location. Gone fire control. We've lost the wire. Damn it. 
every time, every time. Perfectly straight, not turning, lose a wire. Alright, shoot two, two, two out. Aye, sir. That's alright, we're three torpedoes in, four and. Three torpedoes fired for three hits, fourth torpedo is a broken wire, fifth one is out. What's our supply on the sturgeon? Uh, weapons, we still have eight in storage plus three in the tubes. Yeah, we're a little anemic on ammo, which is unsurprising for a torpe uh, submarine of this age. Uh, sturgeon is 1960s, so she is pretty dated actually. I don't think the sturgeons were in service mid-80s to late 80s I think they went out of service so this is for the time period that this engagement is supposed to be happening in this is the end of the sturgeon's life which is part of the reason why I picked her she's a little bit more difficult to play with than the uh something like the Los Angeles class all right so exactly the same thing as last time we're gonna let the torpedo get out ahead and then hook it down south doesn't necessarily mean that our Victor here has, room. Two is unaware ready. of exactly where we are. In fact, it's highly likely it knows exactly where we are. But, if we can convince it to shoot at the torpedo and not at us, it's worth a shot. So we're under time acceleration here. We're going to let the torpedo extend through. Once we're a little bit ahead of where the uh, contact for the Victor 3 was, or at least as good as we got, I'm going to turn it south. Just let the torpedo progress ex uh, directly south, rather. And activate it at what should be... just before the 2 kilometer mark. All right, torpedo will be going active. It has 22 minutes non-active. Go active, come on. There we go. 12 minutes to find target. And we'll go to active sensors. Counter launch, it's further out. All right, so let's mark the location. Con sonar, recon sonar, launch transient from Sierra One. Get rid of those ones. Zero so one has been located. That is pretty closely in line with us though. So those torpedoes are actually a potential threat. So I'm gonna quickly change direction. Come left to one, six, now this zero. This could break the wire. And it looks like the Victor three is actually heading back to the southeast at the moment. Just judging by what we're getting through on the uh, the live indicator, it's only a 17% solution, but it does appear to be. No, that's moving away. All right, so it's running. That's fair. Let's do a depth change to bring the torpedo into alignment with the submarine. It looks like it is trying to dive down, but it hasn't got much left in its depth. I wouldn't think. Victor three. What is the maximum depth? 400 meters. So yeah, it's getting awfully close to maximum depth right now. It is... Oh, it doesn't actually have it listed. It's not particularly accurate. The gauge here is a little rough. I'd say it's around 280 to 300 meters at the moment. So it's pretty close to its maximum depth. There's not far that it's got to run there. Now our trick is we just want to get this torpedo in fast enough, get it to hit the Victor 3, and then I actually want to run it. Probably run... Sh no, we have to run deep. We're currently at 198 metres, I'll probably want to take it to 250 metres, and then run flank to the southeast, just to make sure we're clear of the torpedoes. Once we've ran south to about, for about five or six kilometers, then damn near bring it to the surface and get it above the thermal layer. And we should be clear of the torpedoes. Now I'm expecting the Victor 3 is actually about here somewhere at the moment. I think we should get an updated contact and an acquisition in just a moment. I 
9 minutes 30 remaining on the torpedo. Con, helm, steady course. No wire break, which is good. Hopefully our loose torpedo doesn't hit anybody else in the ocean. Come on, it cannot be that far away. It's running 30 knots. There it is, it was just out of our senses. We were at the wrong way, pointing the wrong way. We have confirmation, 91%. I'll actually be able to check its 3D now. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, yes. sonar, weapon noise acquired. maker, Counter bearing, on. two, one, four. We're rotating the target off. And back on. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Target has reacquired, or torpedo has reacquired, rather. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, one, five. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. On song and tracking. And he got underneath it. Well done. Alright, manual guidance, turning the torpedo back onto target. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, one, seven. Good drop. guidance here without the third person camera and no impacts torpedo has overtaken we have seven minutes remaining on the torpedo con sonar noise maker bearing required. two Let's one nine zoom in so i can see the depths more accurately here Con sonar Impact. lost contact. Sierra one last bearing two right, one. And your guidance nine. off the contact map. Where we here? Should have been in the midships. That looks like we clipped her just on the tail. Actually, we should have delayed a second, and we would hit her more cleanly further up. But still, that is our second Victor three sunk. And that should be it. Two escorts, one ballistic missile submarine. Not a bad day's work. Alright, so report to USS Grayling. What we have, after action report, we got the Oscar, we got two Victor 3s. So that was our three kills, 37,000 tons in our first mission, 11 Mark 48 torpedoes, still three MOS on board, and three anti-ship, uh, four rather, uh, 84 anti-ship missiles. 88,000 experience points gained and crew proficiency increased. Alright, so excellent job on intercepting and destroying advanced Soviet subs. This is going to be a long war, but you and your crew have hopefully helped shorten it. Stand by for further orders. And it looks like we're getting medals straight off the back on the first mission. We got the Bronze Star to Commander Hugh Jass. Commanding Officer USS Grayling, SSN 646. Commander Hugh Jass is cited for extraordinary heroism in action against the enemies of the United States of America on the 6th of January 1985. His unwavering resolve and self-sacrifice to devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Okay, so same same medal briefings that you always get. Soviet subs sunk. Early reports indicate that Soviet submarines attempting to reach the North Atlantic have suffered significant losses at the hands of Allied submarines and aircraft. NATO officials declined to provide more information and cautioned that enemy forces would likely modify their operations to be more difficult to destroy in the future. Well, I would hope so. I would guess that they don't have too many Oscars and we just put one of them down on day one. This is not a good thing for them. Great thing for us. 
All right, so our new orders. Intelligence indicates that numerous enemy diesel electric subs operating in a wolf pack are heading for the North Sea. It's vital that these subs be destroyed before they attack NATO shipping and vital task forces in the area. You are ordered to find and destroy these enemy submarines. Patrol area yellow 204. Locate and sink enemy diesel electric submarines. Cool. So I guess that's what we're doing next. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel once again very soon with Dot Mod. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care. <laughs>